yogurt is. Um, <clears throat> I keep getting yogurt when I talk about plasma. <laughs> um, uh, so uh, what's the the Bosnian conflict had absolutely everything to do with the history of the Ottoman Empire. Um, in particularly with the rise of a Serb nationalism in the 1980s, it's not a coincidence that in 1989, um, uh, the leader of Serb nationalism, um, Milosevic, declared that 600 years ago, the nation of Serbia was defeated at the Battle of Kosovo by the Turks. And the entire historical legacy of Serbian nationalism is rooted in uh, opposition to Turkey's occupation in history. So I think that caught a lot, of, a lot of people, particularly Western observers who were not paying attention to either this particular region or history, realize that this goes back many, many centuries and is rooted in the literature of nationalism that begins to be written in the mid 19th century and the 20th century by poets, artists, etc. Um, so this entire history of the tension between Serbs and Turks, for example, uh, is important to understand as to why this occurred. On a lighter note, um, many of you probably had um, something for breakfast called uh, yogurt. Uh, and it's a very healthy food. It's become very popular for children as well as 